What's going on guys? Where's my hat? What's going on everybody? It's uh, <laughs> it is Saturday. Today, we've got to take care of some business because truck's registration expired and in order for us to renew it, I have to go get admissions. And while we're out, some else I and then when we get back, we're gonna prep the blocks a little more and get painting. Yesterday in the video, the last video went live. And first of all, yeah, I've been sitting on it for a couple months, but that's, that's because I've been kind of going through the ebb and flow of what do I do next. The long and short is uh, basically it's gonna cost me like another like $4,000 to do it the way I wanna do it. Um, but it's not a make or break if I don't do it that exact way. So there is a cheaper way and we're gonna do that because I'm sick and tired of telling you guys and everybody else on the face of the planet, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. I don't feel like I am working on it when the money is literally just going out the window and we're not buying anything. So we're not gonna do that anymore. We're actually gonna do some work. When we get to the wastegate and all that kind of stuff, we're gonna buy some eBay stuff for now and then in the long run, we'll replace them as we need them. So either way, we're just gonna try and find the cheapest options and go from, from there and see what we can do with them. If they don't work, then we didn't waste a ton of money. Um, and then we'll find other options at that point. Uh, we're gonna drop the head off the uh, machine shop. We're gonna go get the, uh, the truck registered and we're gonna go from there. So let's, let's grab the, the, I got the truck keys. So just gonna put my shoes on and we're out of here. There's our, our head, so let's uh, wipe it down a little bit real quick and then we'll throw it in the truck and we're out of here. All right, head's in the truck. Let's, uh, let's close this place up and uh, head over to the machine shop. All right, so we just dropped the head off at my favorite machine shop. It should be done Monday or Tuesday. And we'll go from there. So they're gonna do a pressure test, make sure the valves are seating properly and that the head is flat and once they get to that point they're going to uh, turn it over back to me and they're going to give me a call. So we'll get that, we'll get this all sorted out, we'll figure it out come Monday, Tuesday and then we'll start doing our job which our parts should be arriving any minute today. But for now we're going to go do emissions which means we got to go get a thing plugged into the computer and hope that they don't scream. I don't think they will. Either way, two missions. Mesa. The truck is legal. However, they do not hand out stickers. Somebody once told me you could get stickers, or the, the stickers again, at third party. Clearly, that's not the case. So, yeah. We're gonna go home, we're gonna go paint that engine now. So let's go. Didn't know if we needed any of this or not, but I uh, figured I'd pick up a couple, you know, just cheap, cheap protection, I guess. I don't know what to expect, but I uh, figured I'd pick some of this up. And there's, there's the paint.
unfortunately, this is where we have to stop for the time being in this video until we get ahead, which is going to be like Monday next week. So it's just not, hey, it's not going to look right when we paint half the head. And uh, we'll start soaking that block of vinegar, the other piece in vinegar, and get it ready. So how about this? Instead of painting the block, how about we paint this? Because I got all the wrinkled black and everything for it as well. I'll grab some prep stuff and uh, or grab the uh, like a box to paint it on. We'll get paint. All right, so it's been, I don't know, a couple hours. I figured I'd let this thing set up and do everything it's supposed to and kind of let it do its thing. Um, and I would come back once it's done. So we're now dry. It's been sitting here chilling. And uh, you can see it's not too bad. Um, especially on screen, it's gonna look more black. But there's a couple spots, like right there, in this, bottom. Um, this side looks a little flat, weird. There's some spots right there that look like they're wrinkly. Some on there. There's some spots on the inside of there. Or uh, you can kind of see it. A little weird. So we're going to hit it with another quick coat right after we do something about that bottom. While we were doing everything, I got some of this. If you know anything about valve work, you know what this is. So, more of that to come in the next couple days uh, once we get the head back. Alright, so while that's drying, we're going to tear this apart. This is the uh, the first, the head off the first motor we got. This is the one with the base uh, VTC gear. Um, we're going to take it off and inspect these cam caps to see if they're scored up like the other ones. So we can use these cam caps if uh, if they're, they're in good shape versus the others. Otherwise, we'll have to find some other option or like get them uh, line honed or something. I don't know what to do at that point. We'll figure it out.
All right, the last thing on the agenda was uh, <coughs> pour some, some distilled vinegar into the uh, bucket. So we got pretty much a half a gallon of vinegar in there, diluted with water. And uh, that should eat away at all the, the BS. Hopefully the water doesn't uh, hurt it. I'm not sure how long it's supposed to take, but I hear it could take a while. favors there but if that's the case if this doesn't work we'll do something else again once the car's together but we're gonna leave it for the time being try and let it kind of eat see if it helps but this basically just is like acting like an acid and uh, hopefully soft enough that it ain't gonna hurt the aluminum but uh, strong enough that it'll eat off that uh, corrosion, the calcium and stuff, so. It works for dishwashers, it should work for this. So, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. And I think with that, it's safe to say this video is done. Um, it's been a long day, this is still drying. It might need another coat, I'm gonna let this one dry overnight. Because, it's looking pretty freaking good, but I mean, it's still a bit shiny. You can tell it's still drying in spots like up here. I want to see what it looks like f at, on the final take before I hit it again. But she's looking, she's looking pretty good. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll slice and dice this video up, put it up on the YouTubes for you guys. So you can see I'm, I'm not fussing around about getting things done. I'm actually wanting to get things going again. So I'm serious, I've just ordered $70 worth of gaskets for the motor, things I kind of forgot about when I did the uh, did it originally, like the O-ring gasket that's in that block, or the, the cooling housing, and all the head gasket set, plus a couple more gaskets and screens and stuff here and there. Um, yeah, so got a bunch of stuff coming. So heads at the machine shop, I was about to slap this guy in, in there, but I'm going to hold off on that just a little longer. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, if you do like what we're doing here, please subscribe. Um, it helps. Share this with video with your friends. Maybe some of them have some rank valve cover, and uh, they need to see what a freshie looks like or how easy it is to do a freshie. It takes a couple hours and a couple bucks worth of VHT and some prep work. You can shave yours like I did mine. Yeah. Tag your friends. Check on your friends too. That's it. I'm out. See you guys later. So, uh, what did you do? <laughs> what did you, you do? You will not believe what happened. What did you hit? Okay, so I have the piece in my seat. Let's just show you the piece first. Oh, Christ. Look at the freaking Exxon Valdez. Well, my oil is due anyways. <laughs> it was, this is not the way you change your oil, Marcus. Oh, we'll wait for Mikey to get What here. is this, number eight? Well, this is number one on this on this motor since I've owned it. Oh yeah, but no, but this is number. Eight. Holy shit! You see that part number? Yeah. I looked at that part number. It's a tail end for a four hole eighty. Oh. <laughs> so four hole eighty's out here killing. Else's fuck up. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Dude, keep that. That's a souvenir. I'm going to. I looked. I was like, it's got a part number on it. I looked it up and it was like tail end for four all eighty, and I'm like, no, no way. way. I hit someone else's block. <laughs> I think it's funny is we both get it at the same time. You pull up right next to me. Oh, dude, I thought you were someone else. I was cutting you off anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know. I would, as I soon as it, the light, I turned right. I was dude, like, oh, as I soon as the light turned green, I was like, or yeah, hazards, and I was like, he's gonna cut I in front of me. So. Yeah, I looked it up yeah. after I went that so. way. Either way. I did, and then I was like, wait, that sounded like her car, but <laughs> so uh. I'm gonna pull in front of you. Yeah, I already got the strap out. We're good to go. Cool. I brought tie down, or uh, not tie down straps, but zip ties if we have to like loop yeah, it and tie it. Yeah, for sure. So, all right. Cool. Okay. Well, thanks, Patrick. You're welcome. I got yeah. Oh. Freaking Volkswagen crap. Thanks for our ladies. How nice. All right, let's hook this crap up. Get it on. Hey, there's a car meet. Right there, you're right. Here we go. <laughs> Drag your busted Volkswagen to the car meet. Oh my god. How hilarious would that be? That'd be pretty funny. Not gonna lie. I'm pulling a white Volkswagen behind me, right in my ass. Should I pass that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's green. We're going. This is too fun. I know it's broken parts, but still. I guess that's one way of looking at it positively. Of course you do. You, of course you have a spare VR6 oil pan. Yeah, <laughs> I guess all Volkswagen owners do. Right. Hey, at least you had the strap. <laughs> hey Marcus, <laughs> wave to the camera. Turn your AC off. <laughs> yeah. What the f are you doing? Oh, is it left hand thread? Yeah, it's left hand. Oh. Bolt sockets, man. Come on, everything's fast, actually. I'm putting my oil pan right now. Everything's oil instead of holding it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it actually worked. Holy shit. Holy <laughs> Hold up. Holy dude, I need a new pickup too for sure. <laughs> <laughs> really? That bad, huh? Hold up. Hold up. Dude, this thing, oh my god, dude, it trashed the underneath of my car. Bro, look at that shit. Dude. Should move, move your light away from it. Like, like kind of shine it near it, but not on it. Well, like, uh, holy <laughs> <laughs> It's like It's like the engine just sucked it in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sucked my seat, my. When I hit that, I'll tell you what. <laughs> dude, oh look at down there, dude. Look at the carnage, dude. There's dude, look at the oil plug. slick on the underside of your car. <laughs> your car, no wonder you smell oil coming back. <laughs> I told you, dude. Shed's f***ing by. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if I have another one of those. Hats off to your boy. Dude, it like broke it. Oh, gee. As it falls off. Where's the rest of it? No. <laughs> Uh, well, his pickup tube is, uh, 
<laughs> it got it got its upper lip fixed. It broke it. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> ISO pickup tube for Mark III Volkswagen. <laughs> Seriously gonna post that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Levi's like, I got one. <laughs> Off to the West Coast. Fans. That's crazy, dude. I might have another one sitting around somewhere. Show Volkswagen recovery vehicle sticker badge. It's mine now? You can have it. That is all you. You are the Volkswagen recovery vehicle of graduates. Hey, right, Marcus. I'm going home. Good night. Good night. Let's Bye, go. Maggie. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's it's so messed up. Bye. Bye, Patrick. Thanks for the show. You're welcome.